want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? Forever. And ever. Today is October 6, 2019. I'm Brent Nally. We're here at the very end of RadFest. People are shutting down. And I'm here with medical director, Dr. Denise Brinson of Stimming, pluripotent stem cells. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. So, have you had a good time at Radfest so far? It's been fantastic. This festival is just so uh, connecting and so intelligent. Yeah, I recommend it to anyone. That's awesome. And is this your first year here? No, I've been here every year. Oh, I was the MC in the first year, so... That's incredible. So you have a lot of connections with a lot of folks here that yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. Well, this is my first year. I've had an absolute blast. I've, I've been in the longevity community for a long time and following, and I've had an excuse every year not to come. So it's been incredible to get here. Um, but enough about that. Just due to the interest of time, let's get into it. STEM aid. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us about it. Yeah. Well, I've been um, in anti-aging and regenerative medicine for many years. My practice was in Hawaii. And I would do hormones and, and detox and PRP and a lot of cutting edge um, integrative functional naturopathic therapies. But um, I've always really, really wanted to work with stem cells because that is truly the most rejuvenative, reparative cell that the body uses for longevity, for health span, to be super healthy. And as we age, these cells, these cells really diminish in numbers in our bodies. Uh, one of the hallmarks of aging is stem cell exhaustion. So if we want to live a long life, we have to find a way to replenish our stem cells. And so I was able to find the most, uh, the purest, the youngest stem cells on the planet, and they are being produced in Cabo, Mexico. And I am just so honored to be the medical director of that clinic now. Congratulations. Yeah. And so is this a newer role? It's um, new, yeah. Congratulations. Been, That's yeah. really exciting. Yeah, it's, it's been very fun. I've spent the last couple of years uh, traveling the world, doing age reversal salons, doing age reversal courses, workshops. It's my passion to be turning back the biological clock so that we can live super healthy and for our bodies to be very bio-resilient the capacity to repair your own body is number one medicine. You are number one doctor, and if we can support your reparative, regenerative capacity, you can, you can live a very long life super healthy, and stem cells really help, and that's why I feel so um, excited to have this therapy now in my toolbox um, that I can use with patients. Definitely. Now, full transparency for me, I don't know if you know this or not, but I had about approximately 300 million mesenchymal or mesenchymal stem cells um, der derived from the umbilical cord, specifically the Wharton's jelly, of a healthy human birth from about two to four days earlier, so they weren't frozen. Mine came from a company called Dream Body Clinic in Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. Okay. Now this is this is not a advertisement for them in any capacity. It was what was right for me at the time uh -huh. in, in December of 2018. But I just thought because we're sitting here, I should be transparent and share that. And I'm really excited about STEM aid and what you guys are doing now. So yeah, this is great. Mesenchymal stem cells are great. They really go to the joints, to the connective tissue, to the conjunctival tissue. They are fantastic for certain areas of the body. So if you have joint problems or MSK kind of problems. These are great, great cells. However, there is 220 plus um, cell types in the body. The mesenchymal stem cells really have an affinity to about eight, to eight types. And so there is a limitation of where they can go and how much they can do repair, how much repair they can do. So embryonic stem cells are coming from a five-day-old blastocyst. That means when the egg and the sperm came together, in five days they make this mass that's about 100 to 200 cells, and they're not differentiated into anything yet. 
than just pure, pure embryonic stem cells. They don't know which way they're going. And if you are able to take those cells and culture them and give them in an IV form for the patient, um, these cells can go into any part of the body, any tissue, and start signaling regenerative, reparative molecules, microRNAs, and the results are phenomenal. It's the youngest stem cell you can get. That's incredible. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about, so, actually before I jump into that, I, I had musculoskeletal chronic injury, so that's why I did have, and they did help um, for like my ankle and my knee and my right shoulder. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about some of the, the founders, the backers, the, the other names um, of Wistemi? Yeah. Well, you can find out a lot about this on the website, glustemate.com. We'll have it linked in the description below so that yeah. everybody can get there easily. Mm -hmm. But the chief scientist um, is a PhD. She's been working with these stem cells for 15 years and has treated in her clinic over 800 patients, anywhere from biohackers to folks that are interested in age reversal and great success with very serious degenerative conditions. Let's say um, MS, Lyme, Parkinson's, heart issues, vascular issues, cancer, I mean, the works. Because when you have stem cells, when you have young, healthy stem cells in your body, your body has the intelligence to self-repair and basically can repair anything. The research is uh, showing that in fact embryonic stem cells can act as a cancer vaccine. They essentially signal for the cancer to stop uh, or, or to, to revert to non-cancerous uh, potential. So uh, the research is uh, really clear that these can help a lot of conditions and a lot of that is on our website. So Incredible. Yeah. Well, it's really exciting. Um, I definitely believe tremendously in stem cells. I mean, I had 300 million of them injected yeah. into me, so I had to do a lot of research before I talk about that, or excuse me, before I did that, and then you know talk about it on my YouTube channel. So I think that my audience in particular is going to be really receptive, and hopefully they're going to check out Stem Aid if they haven't already yet. We have a pretty educated audience, so I wouldn't be surprised awesome. if many of them have already seen it. So. It's so this, well, I just want to say that this yeah. therapy is a little different from those injections of 300 million. Please differentiate. Because, I'd, yeah, I'd love to hear that. Because you're getting these in an IV form every day for six days a week for maybe one to two to four weeks. Um, so a lot of patients, let's say biohackers, would come for a week and for six days they get full days of IVs and one of them is 20 million uh, embryonic stem cells which okay. are fresh, they are grown that morning, they're put in an IV bag and they're going into your area, your body. But the great thing about embryonic stem cells is that they start signaling in the body and then the body clears them out because it's foreign DNA, right? So the body needs, the immune system clears them out and the next day you get another load of 20 million. And you do this for six days straight. And then you go another week, another six days straight. And then if you have MS or Lyme or serious conditions, then you would do this for four to five weeks and you walk out like a new human. Wow. It's pretty astounding what this does. So definitely do your research, find out why these cells are so fantastic and very simple. Yeah. That's really exciting. Yeah. Um, it is so incredible what's going on in the whole longevity uh, movement. I say industry, but it's, it's not even the right word. It's a movement, right? Mm -hmm. It's a global movement. Radfest is incredible. And then if we dial it down to just the stem cells world, it's really incredible what's going on. And I've had, you know, I've, I've heard of you guys um, before, and it's so hard to do the research. So hopefully for this, um, folks watching this YouTube video right now, you have an opportunity to check the description below, check out the website, check out all the other resources we're going to give you in here. Apologize for the noise, they're, sh they're <laughs> shutting things down, but we still wanted to bring you this content because it's important. But they'll be able to check out all the information on STEM Aid's website, right? Absolutely, and you feel free to call the 1 800 number, Marina and Carrie are the patient coordinators there really knowledgeable, they'll answer all your questions. And essentially, it's about coming to Cabo Baja, getting amazing regenerative medicine. It's a boutique type of beautiful environment. You get 
fruit, you get um, gourmet um, organic lunch. Oh my gosh, I wanna go. The doctors and the nurses are fantastic. It's a very, very collective, future conscious environment. So you'd love it. Yeah. I remember when we chatted a few days ago, my wife uh, go to Cabo almost every year. We didn't go last year, but we go to Cabo Azul. Oh, and it's 10 minutes away. Right, I remember you said that. You said it was to, we're all a little, I mean, I don't know about you, but I haven't been sleeping much the last few days. I've been so dialed in. It's been so incredible. We've been in Vegas, here. so when yeah. it's Vegas, you don't sleep. Well, I haven't been part, this is, I've been to Vegas many times. I've partied. I haven't done any partying. I've been doing the interviews and I've been doing all the lectures and the scientists and the people here are incredible and of course that food's true as well too. You so. know what, it's, it's, it's essentially a, um, a conference that's very, there's a lot of personal connection. Right. Right? Do you find like you're, yes. you're speaking to um, really, there's a personal love here. <laughs> and it definitely, it I've been to Burning Man a couple of times and this is like the Burning Man for scientific longevity. festivals, longevity. and. You know, the, the other thing that I've noticed is that so many of us, um, and I'm sure the audience here, many of you feel similar, you know, we're into longevity, we're into preventative medicine, we're into taking care of our bodies, and because we only get one of them that I know of, right? And so we're, it can be a little difficult communicating with most humans because they don't think like this, even medical professionals, doctors. So I feel like in general, we can kind of just be ourselves and communicate with people kind of just speak our language of like, yes, I'm doing everything that I scientifically know of and can financially responsibly afford to take care of my body. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with you. You know, I just did a talk in London on the physicality and the metaphysicality of the future human. That's one of my passions is philosophy and design and writing. And we're designing a future that's based on very regenerative bodies. So your body, your body is, has, is essentially Taoist technology. It's always trying to find its way back to the middle, to homeostasis. So we really need to support that. Even if you do gene therapy or stem cells or anything, always supporting that homeostasis, that bioresilience, but also the metaphysics, the consciousness. Who, what is the consciousness we're designing? And you'll find that if you do stem cells, there's something that happens um, to the mindset. Sometimes we have patients coming in and they're kind of like stressed and the, in their eyes you can see there is this sort of caution and there's this general mistrust of the world or they have a lot of worries. And about week one, and into week two, you start to see the softening, the vagus nerve tone goes into parasympathetic mode, and, and the human starts to kind of soften up. It's really cool to watch. That's very that. incredible. Yeah. That's got to be very uh, rewarding and keep everybody in a state of gratitude in that type yes. of environment. Yeah. yeah, totally. And that's what we're cultivating is the consciousness of the future humans, just as much a part of it as the physicality. So. Let's do that. That's really incredible. Well, I want to give you an opportunity to get in the last word here and share any closing thoughts. I would really love to chat with you longer, but if you haven't, if you guys can hear the noise in the background, they're kind of closing up shop here on us. So they're closing up. But let's give you the opportunity to share any closing thoughts that you have. Yeah, you know, I've been um, in the philosophy of health and um, and future for a long time, and uh, I believe that we're really building um, lives not just for health, but also for freedom, for bliss, for beauty. Um, my, Martin Heidegger um, wrote a um, paper in 1977 on technology, and he noted that technology is a way of revealing essentially it's a tool of revealing who we are as humanity so any medical technology anything that you get into always go with revealing the beauty of who we can be the kindness the, the benevolence that's the point of all of this that's medicine 101 I say. that's very beautiful yeah that's very beautiful let's do that yeah yes well thank you for sharing don't forget to check out the description below with all the information for stem aid and anything else Come to Cabo, hang out with me. Yeah, that was I'm, incredible. I'm the medical director, so I'd be taking care of you. But if you have any questions, just shout out. Perfect. Well, thank you so much oh, for being here. Oh, thank you. You're amazing. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Okay, ciao.
Sitting in a sand pit, life is a short trip. The music's for the sad men.